I've continued to be belittled, dismissed, and unheard. Take a good look at these faces. These next two minutes are for them and those who are too scared to speak up. If more of us are speaking out, then there could be a great change in St. Francis. They all want to share their stories since they feel their high schools aren't showing enough support involving diversity and accountability. You know, I've had even teachers who would speak to me and kind of sing Kumbaya and other songs in class and then point to me and say, Enijah, that's a Negro spiritual, right? Multiple girls in my class have made like racist remarks. Some of them over social media have told me how to learn how to climb the wall after Donald Trump was elected. This comes after several Sacramento area private high schools posted in response to the death of George Floyd. They were intended to show solidarity and support, but it got negative feedback. It just really didn't sit right with me the way they handled the situation. Um, I was just really angry about it and how people's comments were being censored. We reached out to Christian Brothers, Jesuit and St. Francis High Schools, and we received statements back. Christian Brothers says they're sorry their initial statement didn't convey what they had intended. The incoming president says she's proud of current and former students, and they will be inviting people to be involved in having an accountable and inclusive community. Additionally, Christian Brothers said a student was just punished for making racist remarks, but they didn't elaborate any further. Jesuit High School and St. Francis both stated they see the comments and that they're listening. They both, like Christian Brothers, are working on ways they can improve. Although they say they're listening, some are too scared to come forward. Yeah, I think a lot of students are also scared because of the backlash they could get from St. Francis. Like, they yeah. don't want to be expelled or even suspended for telling their stories. For some who reached out to me, they also wanted to share with me why this is truly more than just about school. This is their lives. I'm speaking out now because I want the classes below me to not have to. I want them to experience St. Francis to the fullest without fear of judgment or racial microaggressions. To those watching, to those who are listening, let these brave faces show you there's a community with voices refusing to be silent.